Hi guys, some of you have asked me what nutrients I use for semi hydro, and here it is. It's General Hydroponics Flora Series. I also add a bit of Super Thrive, and for pH balance testing, I use this kit also from General Hydroponics. And all the products that I use, I get them from Amazon. So I would put the links in the description below in case you're interested. To get this mixture started, I would add 2 milliliters each of these nutrients into a gallon of water. So first, I will start with the Flora Micro. And if you go on the back of the bottle, you would see the description and the instructions on how to mix. And it would tell you to actually start with the Flora Micro first. It's also important to note not to mix all the nutrients together all at the same time, otherwise the nutrients would lock up. So after that, I'll just shake it up and make sure it's evenly absorbed. So next I can do either Flora Bloom or Flora Grow. It doesn't really matter. So I'll add Flora Bloom. I wanna add that this water that I'm using have been sitting out for at least 24 hours. I usually set aside a gallon of water a day or two before I need to mix nutrients. That way any harmful minerals in the water can kind of dissipate. And some people actually also use distilled water or mineral water. So last but not least is the flora grow. So again, add two milliliters of this into our water. And of course, if you need less solution, you can just adjust the measurements depending on how much water you have to use. So after mixing all the nutrients, we would need to test the pH balance later on. So then I'm going to add Super Thrive and it's going to be one fourth teaspoon per gallon. Like honestly, sometimes I don't even use to measure anything I'm just going to add like a few drops and that will be it and just shake it up and after the mixture is done now is the time to test for pH So at the back, you would see the pH ratings and the instructions, so feel free to check that out. Um, I would just add a few drops of the solution into this vial. And I'll put this pH testing liquid. I'll put a few drops in and it will change the color to let you know the pH level. So this one's a little orange and that's a 5.0 and ideally pH balance is between five and a half to six and a half. And for me, I would just kind of stay with the five. And the reason I do that is because over time, the pH level actually increases. So I don't mind starting kind of low. And so far it hasn't really had any bad effects on my plant. So for me, I, I'm just not gonna change it. But if you wanna change it, just add 
pH down or pH up, depending on what you want to do. And that's it.